Hi everyone, it's Katja. Today is my first booktuber shout out of the year, which feels like it's been far too long and I have decided to spotlight a variety of channels using the shout out by the numbers booktube tag created by Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot, which is a fantastic way to actually do these shout outs. So today I'll cover some of the channels in the 0 to 1000 subscriber category that I follow, but I did notice that many channels that I enjoy have now surpassed a thousand subscribers. So I'm planning a separate video to celebrate those ranging from a thousand to, well, I haven't actually put a limit, so anyone above a thousand. Um, instead, what I'll do is I'll mention just one channel of over 1000 subscribers today, and that echoes Sandy's original format for her booktube tag. See if you can guess which channel I will reveal at the end. Big clue, it's the same channel that Sandy mentioned in her tag. If I haven't spotlighted your channel in the 0 to 1000 subscriber range, don't worry, there's a chance I'll include you in the autumn shout out. And just in case, you can always put it in the comments to say that I missed you. I hope I haven't, but it's been years since I tidied up my subscriptions and I think that it's time to declutter some of the non-booktube content that I subscribe to that competes for my attention. There's a lot of travel vlogs that I follow. Anyway, let's dive into fantastic booktubers, which is quite funny because I start off by saying I don't have anyone in this range of 0 to 100 subscribers. And this really surprised me because a lot of the people that I was following in this range have um, stopped doing booktube before they reached 100 subscribers. And so I thought, well, let me start following some newbies and then I can recommend people that I've discovered to you. But on the page, the first page of uh, newbie tags, um, a lot of the people had already gone over 100 subscribers and two channels that I found on that search had already surpassed 7,000 and 2,000 subscriber categories despite being less than four months old. So that was a really humbling reminder of the rapid growth some channels experience, which is really lovely, but let's swiftly move on to the next category. Uh, 101 to 200 subscribers. We start off with Jilly Wonka, 191 subscribers. And Jilly is, you know, just nine away from reaching the 200 subscriber count. Um, she covers booktube, authortube, travel vlogs, and her recent travels through South Korea have been especially engaging as I jot down my notes for my own dream trip one day. Then reading movies, 184 subscribers. I found this channel after they commented on my reviews of the novelizations by Guillermo del Toro, um, or rather off Guillermo del Toro's films, The Shape of Water and Pan's Labyrinth. And they specialize in the novelization of films, providing a unique niche within the booktube community. 201 to 300 subscribers. I don't think that I follow anyone in this category. They all seem to have tipped over the two, uh, the 300. If I've missed your channel and you're in this category, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to include you in my autumn shout out video. 301 to 400 subscribers, Obscure Book Adventures with Annie, 347 subscribers. Now, Annie's channel is a treasure trove. For those interested in the more obscure corners of literature featuring novels, Euro comics, and graphic novels that often don't get much exposure elsewhere on Booktube. Beth Ann Brunninger Sokolar, 371 subscribers. Beth Ann shares my fondness for fantasy and speculative fiction. Her academic background in ecology adds a unique and enlightening perspective to her content. And I've really loved buddy reading Nnedi Okorafor's books with her. Then we have the Sassy Library Fox with 383 subscribers. V primarily enjoys fantasy but also explores other genres, um, is a huge K-pop fan and occasionally shares insights into life in Austria. Though it's been some time since the last vlog, I think due to the demands of editing. Midnight Reader of Rosica, not of Rosica, with Rosica, she hosts it. So 399 subscribers, 
Rosika is passionate about fantasy and a wide array of other genres and incorporates beautiful nature b-rolls into some videos, um, adding a really visually soothing element. I think there was a gap uh, recently um, in her last videos, but she's definitely back now. So 401 to 500 subscribers, Heather Gregg, 407 subscribers, Heather explores not just books, but all forms of art and enjoys humorous fiction, poetry, classic canon, and non-fiction related to art history, spirituality, film, creativity. And she has a playlist called Creative Jam that encourages subscribers to embark on their own creative projects. Then we have Read Rebecca, 445 subscribers, and Becca focuses on indie press, science fiction, fantasy, romance, nature, and science. She's also known for her Great recommendations of sci-fi TV shows. Our tastes definitely align. Now, Water Bear Reads with Heather, 456 subscribers. Heather delves into vintage books, illustrated classics, and children's literature. Books and Cooks, The Grace, 462 subscribers. Grace has this comfy, chatty style when discussing books, often integrating the love of cats and cooking into bookish discussions creating a really warm, inviting atmosphere. We have In Search of Wonder with Anne, 477 subscribers. Anne, a music teacher, has a deep appreciation for classics and seeks beauty, inspiration and wonder in music, books, places, people and thoughtful reflections. Jess, the book freak, 480 subscribers. Jess is an eclectic reader. Uh, which I am, so I love hearing ab about all of her different books. Now, our tastes slightly diverge when it comes to how scary stuff is, because she'll read stuff that's a bit scarier than I do. She also vlogs about local free libraries and writes in her spare time. Jenny Johnston, 463 subscribers. Jenny's a mixed media uh, quilt artist, reading a wide array of fiction with a particular interest in art-based novels literary fiction, and books that celebrate diversity. 501 to 600 subscribers, Kevin's novel advice, 555 subscribers as we're talking. Kevin provides spoiler-free book recommendations and fresh takes on top 10 lists, perfect for readers looking for themed recommendations and more. Chaotic Bibliophile with Oliver, 585 subscribers. Oliver, a London-based queer Chilean bibliophile, showcases eclectic reading tastes and diverse authors. 601 to 700 subscribers, Amy of Hearthridge. 683 subscribers currently. Amy's channel features an eclectic mix of reading tastes paired with classic cozy vibe, creating a perfect atmosphere for weekend or evening relaxation and viewing. 701 to 800 subscribers, we've got Jennifer Loves Books with 719 subscribers. Jennifer is an eclectic reader who enjoys a variety of genres, including crime, mystery, translated fiction, LGBTQ plus fiction, contemporary and modern classics, or contemporary fiction and modern classics. We share really similar tastes, although our views diverge on the more mainstream contemporary fiction, which always offers me a fresh perspective when I watch her take. Lady Jane Books, 728 subscribers. Jane specializes in horror, mystery, and thrillers, delivering engaging reviews. Her videos often feature entertaining outtakes at the end, adding a fun twist to her content. Rosie Cockshut, 727 subscribers. Rosie is an economist by day and enjoys discussing a wide range of books in her free time, particularly those that make her laugh. She may even be a bigger fan of Terry Pratchett's Discworld than I am, which is really saying something considering how much I love that series. 801 to 900 subscribers, we've got Book Chat with Pat who's on 817 subscribers, I think, currently, but the channel keeps changing. Anyway, Pat, a recently retired English teacher, believes that while reading is a solitary act, it helps us connect with others. 
Um, Pat mostly enjoys contemporary fiction and British and American classics. Now, what I was saying is the subscriber count on this channel was rising really quickly at the time of filming, so it might be even higher when this is posted. Then we get novel idea 866, 866, I can't say it, 866 subscribers. Dia is known for her cozy vibe and diverse genre interests, including fantasy, sci-fi, classics, translated fiction, and non-fiction. I especially appreciated buddy reading Korean fiction with Dia, whose experience of living in Korea added depth to our discussions. And she's just lovely. And we love the same fantasy books as well, especially The Goblin Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> Sluggish Reader with Freddy, 832 subscribers. Now, Freddy shares a passion for contemporary and literary fiction and modern classics, and this includes discussing The Underrated Jaguar Nano by Cyprian Quincy, a book that I adore, and he's the only other booktuber I know who has reviewed it on his channel. If you have, let me know in the comments, but otherwise I was like so thrilled when Freddie did it, and he did such a good job of reviewing it. His reading is anything but sluggish. 901 to 1,000 subscribers, Epic Tales with 925 subscribers, a haven for fans of grimdark fantasy literature. This channel offers motion comic adaptations, deep story analysis, and philosophical explorations, enriching the literary experience with each video. Then we have Sterling Reads with Summer, 988 subscribers. Summer's reflections on books are complemented by her entertaining cats, and I particularly enjoy when she does read-alongs, and I've joined her a few times on the Voxer groups to do these. It's always been such a rewarding experience, and hint, hint, Summer, uh, when you have time, do another one. <laughs> and then we have Cat's Novel Adventures, 989 subscribers. Cat shares more than bookish discussions, often including a little something about her interests in writing, acting, improv, scrapbooking, music, animals, horror movies, and pop culture. So she has a really interactive approach which fosters a strong community vibe on her channel. And just like that, we are suddenly at the thousand plus subscribers. So today I'm focusing on just one channel in this category. As mentioned at the start of the video, I follow too many great channels in this bracket to narrow it down right now to a handful. So I plan to avoid doing that um, and I will instead do a separate video. Now, if you're familiar with this tag and Sandy's original video, did you guess who I'm going to be mentioning as the channel in this bracket? It's Jen from Remembered Reads, an absolute gem for discovering backlist books and often feels like her channel's overlooked. She has posted less frequently these days, but definitely she has got a treasure trove of mini reviews um, over the years that's well worth exploring, so do subscribe. I'll be back in a week with a video featuring shout outs to channels of over a thousand subscribers. There's more than 50 channels in that category and there's plenty to look forward to. I hope that today's selection introduces you to some new favorite booktubers, aside from me, of course. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. I don't think I've got anything else. No, I don't. Thank you for joining me and happy reading.